Hey guys, today I'm doing a tutorial on how I style my hair this way, so when I'm wearing it straight. I've gotten a lot of questions about my hair recently. Um, people have been telling me that it looks a lot healthier and a lot shinier, a lot sleeker, and um, just people asking me what products I've been using and if I've been doing anything new, which I definitely have. I think what also helps though is that I don't bleach my hair anymore, so this is my natural hair color. Um, it kind of just faded to that from the last time I dyed it, which was almost, I think, two months ago or maybe um, just over a month ago where I used a semi-permanent dye and I did that basically to try and get my hair back to its natural color and it worked. So um, this is my natural color with nothing in it, no highlights, um, nothing. It's kind of like a, a light brown, I would say. Um, Sometimes I think it's a light brown or a dark blonde, but um, I think it's probably more of a light brown right now. So this is exactly what I do um, every time that I wash it when I wear it straight, because I usually wear it straight the first day, like when I wash it, um, because it's just easier and it's less time consuming than like curling it or doing something different to it. So this is what I do um, when I wear it straight, and these are the products that I use to make it look so sleek and so shiny, and um, I'm really happy with the condition that it's in right now. It's never been in better condition um, since probably before I dyed it. I hope this will help you guys, and I hope you will enjoy the tutorial. So if you wanna know how I get my hair to look like this, then just keep watching. So I'm just out of the shower. My hair is kind of semi, towel dried um, and also a little bit air dried because I obviously just got dressed and did my makeup and everything. Usually it's kind of wetter than this when I start but um, basically the shampoo and conditioner that I've been loving lately has been the John Frieda Brilliant Brunette one and um, this is just the moisturizing shampoo and the moisturizing conditioner. So I use them together. I wash my hair about twice a week every three or four days um, because my hair type is dry, so I don't need to wash it every single day or anything like that, or even every second day. And then once a week, so one of those days, um, I do a deep kind of conditioning treatment. So this is Dumb Blonde by Bedhead. This is their reconstructor for damaged or chemically treated hair. It's not chemically treated anymore, but um, it is quite damaged and dry. So this just kind of brings a lot more moisture back into my hair. It leaves it feeling a lot silkier and softer, which I definitely need. So I do recommend this, no matter what your hair color is, it doesn't have to be blonde, um, for your hair if it's dry or damaged, or if it is chemically treated, it will do it the world of good. So I use that just after these two once a week and I leave it in for about five minutes while I'm like shaving and doing all that stuff. So I have absolutely nothing in my hair. I just towel dried it and um, left it while I did my makeup. So I'm just gonna half it at the back. Not anything specific or anything like that. I'm using this brush by Global Keratin. It's just like, um, it's kind of like a comb. I don't know the official name for it or anything, but it's kind of more like a comb because it's got like, um, it's, the bristles are like um, harder and they're, they're wider apart. So this is what I use on my hair when it's wet. So when that's done, I'm gonna blow dry my hair and I'm using the Babyliss. Um, this is the travel blow dryer, but it's like my favorite ever. It dries really fast and um, it's like portable and you can take it with you and it's just really easy to kind of carry around. So I love this. Um, so I'm going to be using this with, on the highest heat, there's only two settings to it, it's not like that big of a deal, um, 240 and 125, if that means anything, I think they're the temperatures. Um, so I'm going to use it on the higher setting. Now the brush I'm using is this one right here, it's a round brush, um, head jog 78, if that makes any sense to anybody. Um, I just got this at a beauty supply store in Nutgrove in Dublin. So I don't even know like where you could get this in cork or anything like that. But beauty supply store, hair supply store, one of those things. And then before I blow dry my hair, I'm going to be using this KMS California Color Vitality um, Shine and Shield Brilliance Cream. And this is a heat protection cream um, and it's also a shine cream. So it's going to make your hair super soft and shiny and also protect it from the heat. So I'm going to put um, just two pumps 
in one section here, <clears throat> one half. And this stuff is amazing. I got this with my glossy box last month. Oops. Another two pumps in the other section. So I really, really love this when I'm doing my hair straight. Um, it just makes it so soft and shiny looking um, and healthy as well. So I'm just going to start off blow drying my hair just like randomly. Um, I'm not even sectioning it off. I'm not brushing it. Just to get it a little bit drier to start off with before I start styling it. Now I'm going to use a round brush, a big round brush. And the key to brushing your hair and um, kind of having it like straight without doing the whole like roll and blow dry like that um, is to just kind of brush in every direction. So brush your hair every single direction as you're blow drying it. You're, you're going to see I'm going to flip my hair upside down, I'm going to have it this side, I'm going to have it that side. <laughs> Okay, so as soon as you feel like your hair is bone dry and that you've dried it completely, every single strand is dry. You don't want any wet or damp areas in your hair. It has to all feel dry. Um, you can then brush it out again without the blow dryer on. So I just always like to half it because it just makes it a lot more manageable. Um, I'm going to try and find my natural parting. There we go. So this is my hair like um, kind of untamed and this is usually what my hair looks like when I get up in the mornings actually just really like crazy and big. Um, so we're going to tame it a little bit because it looks a little bit frizzy but the KMS um, shine cream is really good at like ironing it any frizz in the beginning. So again half it and then I'm going to spray it with John Frieda's frizzies heat to feet um, protective spray and this will eliminate any frizz and also protect it. So four, four sprays on each side is usually what I do. One, two, three, four. And then one, two, three, four. And then what I always do afterwards is brush it out so that it's kind of equally distributed all over the hair so it's not just sitting in one part or in one spot. Now what I'm going to do is section my hair into four. So we're actually going to section it just into two on this half first. So just section off the top with a little clip. Um, this is actually a clip that came with my GHD, which I'm going to be using right now. So just clip that up there. And now we're just going to be working on this section right here. I'm using my GHD flat iron um, straightener for this. This is like my favorite. It's lasted for four years now I've had it and it's amazing. It's my favorite ever straightener so um, I really recommend a GHD if you can afford one or if you can get your hands on one but it will last you forever so like mine was 200 euros four years ago. It's lasted me that long and it still works perfectly well. So it's definitely an investment, but it's a good investment. So I'm just going to start on this section. Now my bottom half of my hair has always been straighter than the top. Like the top is usually the frizziest part. So these parts don't need as much um, work, but I'm just going to do this randomly. Grab some serum. This is by GK Hair. It's my favorite serum of all time. It's the best serum in my opinion. Um, whenever this wastes out, I start using the John Frieda one. Um, but there's no comparison. This is so much better. So um, this is with Uvexin, so it's the hair taming system. And I'm just going to take one pump of this. And then just distribute it into the part that I just straightened. And now this is going to make your hair so silky smooth and look so nourished and so healthy and so shiny. Grab some Neil Wolf Glow. This is super shine spray for all hair types. 
and that's what it looks like. And this actually came with my September glossy box and I absolutely love this. So um, just going to spray it. I'm actually going to spray it on the top section where you can see it just three times. I'm going to brush it just kind of gently in the way that I want my hair to kind of fall and sit. Now you can wait until you've done your whole hair um, and then just put in some more product. Like you don't have to do it section by section, but I feel like if you do it section by section, there's less of a risk of your hair frizzing throughout the day or your hair kind of um, losing shape or, you know, getting kinks in it or anything like that. If you do it like this, it's more thorough. And that is it. This is my hair fully styled. Um, you can see how shiny and healthy it looks kind of all around. Those are the ends. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I hope it helped you and I will talk to you all in my next video. Bye.